home in Florida. So, and these walls are constantly being stabbed, like, you know, like the Rick thing with the Morty. Yeah, it's, stab a wall. it's like that, because they're living human beings. But why would you stab a wall? So they scream. So his home, he walks into his living room, and there's just screaming people that are being stabbed over and over. And he just sits there and he sleeps two minutes. <laughs> Why? Because he can't. Mic check, Larry. Mic check, Cat. Open and see with the date. How to Larry Singer and Stevie I realized he absolutely engaged the whole building. She designed my addition too close to my pool. That's not true. I'm not going to be ever able to sell my house because I'm not going to have a backsplash now because her window design was too low. I'm ready to have my house built, but not with this person. Stand by. And take date. This way. is Siouxland News at 5 on CBS 14. The body of a man who went missing nope. Tuesday in the Missouri River has been recovered. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry West at Casillo Work, the morning newscast. And tonight, that story is first at 5. A boater discovered the body floating in the river about a mile north of the Dakota City boat dock. It was able to stay with it until rescue crews arrived. Sioux City Fire Rescue has identified the body as the man who was seen either falling or jumping from the train bridge over the Missouri on Tuesday. At this time, Sioux City Police say they do not know who that man is. I, I spoke with Sioux City Police Department. As of right now, they do not have any missing persons um, on file that matches the description of this individual. So if anybody uh, has a missing family member or friend um, that's approximately 31 years of age, uh, male um, who, who is missing to, to report that by calling the Sioux City Police Department. Now that body has been taken to the medical examiner's office, but Stand authorities on the scene say there were no obvious signs of injuries or official cause of death at this time. Yes, we're learning more about the man arrested after a high-speed chase that started in Sioux City and ended in Plymouth County last night. 41-year-old Russell Church is being held in the Woodbury County Jail as a fugitive from Colorado. The jail doesn't have any details on the charges he's facing there. Church led authorities on a chase Thursday evening after U.S. Marshals tried to arrest him on a federal warrant. That chase reached speeds more than 100 miles an hour and ended when authorities were able to disable his car near Dakota, Dakota, rather near county roads K-22 and C-38. A murder trial in Sioux City abruptly stopped this afternoon as the defendant changed his plea. Roderick Banks trial for first degree murder in the November 2020 shooting death of Solomon Blackbird began Wednesday and was about to proceed to closing arguments this afternoon when the trial was suspended and court officials indicated Banks planned to change his plea. He did plead guilty to charges of involuntary manslaughter and felon possession of a firearm. He faces a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. No one was injured in a building fire in Sioux City this afternoon. About 3.30 fire crews were called to a garage fire at 18th and Court. 
They found an old barn being used as a garage that had quickly Brown. gone up in flames. Due to its location, they had to attack that fire from an alley nearby. Now, nobody was injured, but the garage barn was completely destroyed. No cause for that fire has yet been determined. Turning now the weather, the heat is not fun, but I understand some rain. It might come. Is that right, Kat? Yes, I think we have a pretty good chance for at least some raindrops. The question is, how much rain will we get? And I think the answer to that is not very much. But we do have rain forming just to our north and west and even thunderstorms to our far west. And these are going to eventually move through the area overnight tonight. So we have that small chance for rain. So far today, we've reached 93 degrees, which is nearly 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Bank first camera on top of the Ho-Chunk Center in downtown Sioux City looking very clear, still hazy with the smoke in the air. 93 south southwest winds around 30. 17. Feels like temperature or heat index 100. So it absolutely is on the warmer side. But if you're headed out to Ragbri to set up your campsite, we have our total motors, we'll to total motors next few hours forecast for you. And it is going to be fairly hot tonight. We have the chance for storms. So if you are going to camp out for Ragbri, for the overnight hours. Keep in mind, you may need to find a safe place to stay in case gusty winds pop up. I'll have all the details on that coming up. Mike, thank you. All right, thanks, Kat. Well, the pandemic put the brakes on last year's rag ride, but now thousands of bikers will be rolling into Lamar's this weekend for the start of this year's ride across Iowa. Our Vivian Rennie has been at Lamar's as organizers and vendors start the uh, put the finishing touches on their preparations. Vivian? Hi everybody, I'm out here in Lamar's where they're getting ready to kick off Ragbri in just a few hours. What is it like in the hours and days before Ragbri kicks off? A lot of less sleep, sleepful nights than we're used to. <laughs> It's, it's a lot of planning, a lot of logistics, a lot of volunteers, a lot of hands on, a lot of all the way up right now. So really it's getting up early in the morning, getting set up. We've got plans that we're ready to roll out and now it's just putting them into action. If people are up here in Lamar's today and tomorrow, what can they expect to be seeing? Well, you're going to see a lot of traffic areas that we have dedicated roped off areas that are blocked roads. We've got um, traffic signs directing areas. So if you're coming here, obviously we want you to get to the right places at the right times. So we've got traffic control helping out with that. But really when the fun comes to it, we've got a lot of entertainment down at the main campground. And this is where majority of the campers will be staying. We've got a main stage out here that'll be action from one to eight on Saturday. And then of course, when you go downtown, we've got a lot of setup happening today. Uh, we've got riders starting to make their way into town. So you can see the excitement starting already. Uh, the tents are going up. We've got our vendors coming in, rolling in. So right away tomorrow morning, about uh, 4 a.m., we're gonna have people rocking and rolling. Sound check already tonight and so, we're excited, we're ready. Tomorrow we've got a great stage of entertainment. Over 20 food vendors downtown, eight food vendors out here. Uh, so we should really be able to stretch it out, give people what they want, uh, all the parts throughout town. One thing that's hard to ignore right now is this heat. It's gonna be up in the 90s the next couple days. It's over the 90s today. How are you guys taking that into account? We're making sure, encouraging riders obviously to get as much water in them as they possibly can, find covered, covered areas. We've got some buildings downtown that have allowed us to open their doors to have AC, have some coverage. Uh, go into those businesses downtown, go inside of them, shop them, make sure to stay cool down when you need to. Um, stay hydrated and uh, find some shade as best as possible. And uh, yes, just like the fair, got to take it into account that heat's going to be there. The riders are ready for that. It's not going to be a surprise, but we want to make sure that everyone stays hydrated. 10 seconds. If people want there. more information, how can they get it? They can find that at regbrylamars.com. Perfect, and then I'll have much more information coming up tonight on CBS News at 10. Mike and Q. All right, thanks, Vivian. Now, I'm sure those uh, bike riders would love to see a few cool showers along that long ride. Local firefighters made that happen this afternoon so some people could beat the heat. Sioux City Fire Rescue threw a hydrant party in Pulaski Park in Morningside. Gosh, that looks like fun. The uh, watery fun opened for two hours to all ages, not just the kids, though plenty of them turned up, as you can see. This is the first hydrant party fire rescue has thrown since 2019. In addition to the free flowing water, the firefighters also offering tours of their trucks Stand and information on fire safety. After deployment that lasted nearly a year, roughly 100 soldiers from Siouxland returned home today to the waiting arms of their families. Troops from the Iowa National Guard set off for Kosovo early last fall to support NATO security missions in the Western Balkans. This afternoon, they were greeted to cheers, applause, signs, and even a few happy tears. It's been an emo emotional roller coaster, but um, obviously today we are so excited and 
just our hearts are just like bursting. We're just so happy to have Stand that up. home and to have it feel like home again. <laughs> I bet she is. Well, the for the troops indeed. returning, well, they're thankful for their time in Kosovo, but ready to be with their families as well. It was pretty interesting. We got to learn a lot of culture, uh, a lot of meet a lot of different people and uh, do a lot of different activities with the youth and the culture and everything in Kosovo. We're just very proud of all of the soldiers and for their service and their time away from their families and friends. Mike. Iowa Army National Guard troops, they were also welcome home yesterday in Des Moines. They'll also be welcome home tomorrow in Des Moines. Governor Pete Ricketts spent part of his day in Winnebago, Nebraska, learning more about the tribe. He first met with the tribal council as well as the CEO and COO of Ho-Chunk, Inc., which is the economic development arm of the Winnebago tribe. Governor answered their questions and provided feedback to their comments. He also asked questions about how things operate with the tribe and Ho-Chunk. Really the entrepreneurial spirit with Ho-Chunk to be able to create these opportunities and take advantage of the, of the things that they can do. Uh, I was not aware of all the operations with regard to the farming and the d housing development and all that. So that's all, it was all Stand great by. to see what has been going on here that I really was not aware of before. Mike. Governor Ricketts also visited the Tribal Hospital and went to the Annie Will Powwow in Winnebago as well. They were the People's Choice champion at Ribfest and now there's a new place to sink your teeth into some of their food. You can come and get some at the new Lewis Brothers Family Style Barbecue that opened today in Winnebago. The restaurant is in the Ho-Chunk Village. It uh, has all the same good food you can get at the uh, Brothers Barbecue Food Truck. The owner of the restaurant and the restaurant, Quincy Lewis, says this is something his patrons have been asking for. When people come to my food truck, they say, hey, when you get in a brick and mortar, when you this, when that, I'm like, I don't got the funds for that. You know, opportunity comes, it comes. So the opportunity wow. opened up, it's here. Not only will we offer barbecue, we'll offer some homestyle food uh, that you ate growing up, you know what I'm saying? Some recipes, you know, because I'm a chef. Full breakfast, like you would get at a five-star restaurant, you'd be able to get that here, right here locally. Mike. Lewis also owns a diner we'll with a bagel that sells a wide variety of food as well. Coming up in five minutes tonight at five, a top Iowa pork producer calls on Congress to make it easier to hire immigrant farm labor and make a change to visa laws. But first. I'm James Rosen at the Department of Justice, where a new attorney general is charting an activist course. How and where you'll be able to see it in action. Coming up. You're watching Siouxland News at five on CBS 14 with Larry Wentz. Diana Castillo, Chief Meteorologist Kat Taylor, and Owen Sebring with sports. This is Siouxland News at 5 on CBS 14. Did you know that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care at no additional cost? The great deals just keep getting better. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. The best five days of summer are back this year. Join us by the car load at the Plymouth County Fair, July 28th through August 1st. Enjoy music, comedy, and festival foods. Four stages booked with entertainment. The grandstand with motocross, stuff truck, tractor pull, demo derby, and figure eight racing. There's Impact Pro Wrestling back under the covered arena. Great acts on the Pioneer Village stage, even a kid's stage. All entertainment free with fair admission. It's the best five days of summer, the Plymouth County Fair in Lamar's, July 28th through August 1st. Get your fair passes early at Plymouth County Banks. For more details, go to PlymouthCountyFair.org. Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find your next adventure in a new Chevy. Make no monthly payments for the rest of the summer on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing for 72 months and get $2,000 cash allowance. Transform your space with help from Menards. Get 11% off on our huge selection of Shaw and IBC flooring. Update your home with soft and luxurious carpet. Sheet vinyl flooring is affordable and easy to install. Enhance the look of any living space with durable laminate flooring. Vinyl plank flooring is waterproof right, and clicks together for an easy installation. Start your next project and save today with 11% off all flooring at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Olympic Games are on, and Toyota has great deals on Camry, Highlander, RAV4, and more. Did you know?
deal that every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care at no additional cost, the great deals just keep getting better. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. You really break. wanted to be on Jeopardy. It started about 30 years well, ago. 50 postcards went in and took my test. I've taken it several package. times since, and I'm really happy to be here. Will her persistence really pay off? Next Jeopardy. Tonight at 6 on CBS 14. Have some Let's summer see. puzzle fun with Wheel. Let's go summer. Fun and games is the category. Playing Marco Polo. Emma. Yeah, that's it. Tonight at 6.30 on CBS 14. Mike U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, the nation's top law enforcement official, is balancing the political imperatives of the administration that he serves with his own approach to running that department. Sinclair National Correspondent James Rosen has more on that from Washington. Good afternoon. Still new to his job, Attorney General Merrick Garland is charting an activist course. He's opened federal investigations of the police forces in Minneapolis and Louisville to determine whether they've shown a, quote, pattern or practice of unlawful conduct. Super. Most of our super. nation's law enforcement officers do their difficult jobs honorably super. and lawfully. Good officers do not want to work in systems that allow bad practices. Reversing Trump-era policies, Garland has suspended federal executions, launching a review to ensure prisoners are, quote, treated fairly and humanely. And last month, DOJ sued the state of Georgia, alleging new voting laws enacted there with GOP backing were designed to disenfranchise black voters. The Civil Rights Division is going to need more lawyers. We will double the division's enforcement staff. The AG whom Garland invokes most frequently as his model is Ed Levy, the mild-mannered academic who served under President Ford and One helped impact. restore integrity at DOJ well, after Watergate. But Garland's forward-leaning style more resembles that of Robert F. Kennedy, who made aggressive use of lawsuits and federal marshals to combat Southern segregation. I'm Merrick Garland. The more recent history weighing on the Attorney General, however, is the Obama era, when Garland was a federal judge and his nomination to the Supreme Court, a lifetime position, was blocked by then Senate Majority Leader. Mitch McConnell. Analysts say that experience could impel Very Garland bad. to act boldly now that he is the nation's highest law enforcement officer, serving at the pleasure yeah, of President sister. Biden. As far as whether he runs the department with a more activist hand, I think I would say that he's going to run the department in a way that implements super President super. Biden's agenda. Perhaps super. the greatest advantage Garland brings to his present duties is his long oh, record as a federal and prosecutor and a federal judge, experience out. that has given him a keen understanding of when court victories are upheld and when they're overturned. At the Department of Justice, James Rosen. C. Rolls. D. D is rolling. Bridge is not addressed. It could lead to farms and packing plants shutting down. Mike and Super. That is Jen Sorensen of Iowa Select Farms, the state's largest pork producer. She testified before a Senate committee this week pushing for Brown. work visa programs for immigrant farm workers. The focus of the hearing was oh, the Farm Workforce C. Modernization Act passed by the House in May. If it's approved, it would allow for year-round work visas rather than seasonal ones. Iowa pork producers say it will help out during a current labor shortage. As any pork producer will tell you, there is no pork season. It requires a full-time, hard-working, and dedicated workforce on our farms and processing plants. There's an increasing need for employees Stand throughout by. the entire pork supply chain, but there's been a steady decline in rural population growth where most farms and harvest facilities are located. Mike. That bill would also create a pathway to citizenship for more than a million undocumented farm workers. Now that idea is not sitting very well with Republicans in the U.S. Senate. Mike and Q. Here's a look at your Bakker Sports Bar. Rag Brian Lamar's forecast for tomorrow. We've got Fierce B Golf at 9 a.m. We're already in the 80s at 9 a.m. in the morning. 89 with ped pedal pullers at 11.30 and BMX stunts at 4.30 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. 92 with a small chance for some showers and thunderstorms. We'll talk more about those coming up after the break. Yeah. Uh, at Aspen Dental, today is the day to take back your smile. Why wait? We're your nights, weekends, and right now to give you exceptional care and 20% off your treatment plan. New patients take the first step with a complete exam and x-rays that are free without insurance. Because our nationwide network of over 1,500 doctors at 900 locations all have one goal, to make you smile today. Start now. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL or book online at aspendental.com. We all know some things in life 
are just better slow. But when it comes to the internet, hey guys. now that's just better fast. That's why Sparklight's fiber-rich network that's what that is. delivers our fastest internet. Two eggs, but I'm gonna go three. At speeds up to one gig, with reliability and local service you can count on, so you can live life at whatever pace you like. Sparklight, a stronger connection. It's time for this year's Pierce County Fair, July 28th through August 1st. July 28th kicks it all off with the free barrel racing. Thursday night, fill the thunder with the return of the Nebraska Bush Pullers. Friday brings something all new. It's extreme bull fighting. Saturday is a full day packed with mud volleyball, kids pedal pull, and featuring the double S extreme bull riding. Sunday, enjoy the ATV rodeo, FFA hog wrestling, and it all closes with the ever popular demolition derby. Find all all the details at PierceCountyFair.org. Mike, take on! Or some other accident, contact the Hamilton Law Firm. We've represented over 1,000 injured people in workers' compensation cases, car accidents, and other matters. You may consult with an attorney at Hamilton Law Firm without charge to determine if you need a lawyer. We have offices in Sioux City, Storm Lake, and Des Moines. We can fly to your location to meet with you, which we will do without charge. Call our toll-free number or visit HamiltonLawFirmPC.com. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Bumgars. What you need, when you need it. Your first look forecast with Chief Meteorologist Cat Taylor. Hey, it's a hot one. I know earlier today, at least when I was out, there was a fairly decent breeze that kind of helped. Yeah, the breeze helps, but unfortunately the humidity does not. And you know what? That's exactly what we're looking at this afternoon. We actually have heat index values right now in the triple digits. City of Kingsley camera, that breeze Larry was talking about, you can see on the flag there, that has helped out today. It's 91 in Kingsley, south winds at 11 miles an hour. The dew point 72, though. So when you combine the dew point with the temperature, you get the heat index. And that's what's really at issue today. Now, air temperatures are in the 80s to low 90s. We're really not that hot outside. 94 in Vermilion, but you factor in the dew points in the low 70s. We have heat index values in Sioux City right now at 100 degrees, as well as Tacoma, 101 in Yankton, Port Orange City. 105 is what it feels like right now outside. Satellite and radar showing that we do have some rain forming off to our north and west. Not quite in Sioux land yet, but those showers and thunderstorms may arrive later on tonight. I don't think it's going to be a lot of rain, but fingers crossed we can actually get some of this to make it into the area and, and actually make it to the ground, which I think is going to happen. Four, or four o'clock in the morning, it's reaching the I-29 corridor near Sioux City and then makes its way southward through the early morning hours. You wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning, which hopefully you're not doing on a Saturday, but if you have to, you may see a few showers, especially in our southern and eastern portions of Siouxland. But then we're clearing out very quickly by lunchtime. We are very sunny and the humidity may pop off an extra little thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon as well. So we're not completely dry tomorrow with this heat and humidity. It can do some funky things with the atmosphere. 69 degrees tonight. That's very mild chance of storms, gusty winds with a few of those, especially in South Dakota. South winds at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow, a daytime high of 92. We have that storm chance in the morning, which is going to be very early. And then into the late afternoon and evening, that very tiny storm chance is possible. Otherwise, it's hot and sunny in between. Tomorrow's heat index, though, you'll notice, really starts to soar again. 96 by 1 skipper, and 3 p.m. I think we could get closer to the 100 degree mark again tomorrow, although the humidity is higher today. And those thunderstorms will kind of knock some of that humidity out of the air for tomorrow. But you'll notice this heat dome is still building in right over Siouxland. And so you'll notice for the next seven days, it's going to continue to get hot. And now, folks, we're talking heat and humidity really surging on Tuesday and Wednesday. You factor in the higher humidity values. Open Tuesday Larry. and Wednesday, we'll be talking heat index values between 105 My and 110, especially this. Wednesday. I don't think we've seen that 100 yet this year. So. Bye. All right. Thanks, Cap. Mike, thank you. Welcome right back with sports, and today we begin a very special series based around some of the Olympic sports and the athletes around the area with those disciplines who are practicing them right here in Siouxland. We head down the road to a local CrossFit gym to learn about the world of weightlifting, and an Indy car makes a pit stop in South Sioux City. It came and now it's already gone, but the video lives on. We'll have more on this auto celebrity sighting in sport next in sports. Yeah, I did.
Okay. State coordinates of new land acquisition. Oh, you know that big oak tree that got struck by lightning? Negative. Robots don't know you. We do. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, every plan starts with a conversation. Learn more at fbfs.com slash protect. So is he supposed to start with Ballybet, then go into the open, or do open, then Ballybet? It's a world of Bally bet then open, so shouldn't it be C then or D then C, not C D? It's backwards in his video. Oh yeah, I get that. Okay. Yeah, well, to, yeah, you don't want to change up scripts. Yeah, you're right. Download Bally bet in Iowa and get up to a five hundred fifty dollar risk free first bet. Unlock a summer of possibilities in a new Chevy. Expand your options and your perspective. Find yeah, your next adventure in around. a new Chevy. Make no monthly payments for the rest of the summer on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing for 72 months. Make sure you get take Valley Bet first. Cash allowance. Getting old is an excuse. Is your life in pieces? No energy. Brain fog. Weight gain. Loss of muscle mass, low sex drive, moodiness. You don't have to accept feeling tired and unmotivated when it's likely low testosterone. If you have any symptoms, schedule a complimentary consult with the number one men's testosterone clinic at LimitlessMail.com and put your life back together. Insurance accepted. State purpose. Third. Well, our tracker's gonna kick a bucket this year. Searching internet for a new bucket. I don't need a bucket. That's why. Robots don't know you. We do. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, every plan starts with a conversation. Learn more at fbfs.com slash protect. We'll wake you up at 5 a.m. with well, Coolant News at sunrise, and heat is gonna be the big story. Yes, it will be, and we could have some big problems stir because of it. We'll take a look at how hot we'll get and how it will impact people in Siouxland more the week ahead. Friday Favorites is sponsored by BallyBet. I'm Jeff Beecham with our partners at BallyBet who are taking action on many Olympic events. Team USA will be in action this weekend with softball and women's three-on-three -three basketball. Well, and the USA men's basketball team is our top Friday favorite to win gold at minus 400, even though they've struggled in the exhibition games. PGA's 3M Open will be in full swing this weekend with many working hard to secure FedEx points to make the approaching playoffs. Ricky Fowler came out strong and will be fighting to stay in the mix all weekend, looking to reward his backers at 45 to 1. The UFC offers another strong fight card with Corey Sand hanging as a minus 200 favorite over TJ Dillashaw, who is returning from a two-year suspension and trying to win back his fan base with an upset victory. Join me Monday when we find out who hit and who missed. Friday Favorites is sponsored by BallyBet. Online gaming is legal in Iowa. Sports with Owen Sebring. Participating in the Olympic Games is something athletes all over the world strive for, but most never get the chance. That doesn't mean you can't feel like an Olympian every day. Over the next two weeks, our Andrew Rogers will take you around Siouxland, highlighting sports featured at the Summer Games, and that journey begins now. Andrew? There's nearly 50 different events at the Summer Olympic Games. Now, I won't be able to touch on them all over the next 11 days, but it is pretty neat to see how many of these sports are actually offered here in Siouxland. And if you aspire to be just like one of the Olympics' strongest participants, you can work on weightlifting at a gym like Bayo Strength and Fitness. When you watch Olympic weightlifting on TV, you'll see what's known as the snatch and clean and jerk, two extremely technical movements that can be mastered with the right coaching. We use those lifts in our programming here at Bayo Strength and Fitness just because they're a full body movement. You use your core and your legs and your arms and so much core for these lifts. It's more than just racking a bar and lifting it up. The whole movement is technical and requires a lot of strength and body mobility. Olympic weightlifting is something Cristobal Franciscus has been working on for quite some time now. It's a lot different than, than the typical strength and conditioning that I'm used to, um, which is like CrossFit where it's all mostly well-rounded, kind of trying to do a little bit of everything but not specialize at one thing. The movements you see are the movements you'll learn in these CrossFit classes over at Bayo, just with less weight. You're going to do what they're doing in the Olympics, just on a much smaller scale. It takes 
time. It takes a lot of patience, um, but seeing them at the end, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something, you know, to take pride in. At the end of the day, it may not be a gold medal, but it's a special feeling when you see results and reach a fitness goal. Love to see it. Little by little, I've started CrossFit and it's, it's changed my life completely and I gained weight in a good way and I mean, I've gained strength. I mean, I've also uh, gained a lot of confidence. It's incredible to see a brand new person come into my gym and day one they really don't know a whole lot and then to see them progress is so rewarding. In Sioux City, Andrew Rogers, Siouxland News. Now if you're interested in taking part in weightlifting classes like these, you can contact Bayo Strength and Fitness to get started. We'll have that information linked in the story on SiouxLandNews.com. And tune in Monday for our continuing coverage where Andrew takes on the beautiful sport of boxing. And finally, to the interest of some, an Indy car made a showing in the Metro this afternoon. This is a 45 car at the Hy-Vee in South Sioux City being admired by some. The car is driven by Santino Ferrucci, whoever that might be. It's already skipped town for an appearance in Lincoln tomorrow, but we'll be back in Siouxland for another public viewing in Lamar's on Open Sunday. Mics. That high beat car scene in IndyCar races across the country and world, I guess I presume. A lot yeah. of people up in Lamar's will be uh, looking at that on Sunday. Yes, yeah, still uh, another look at uh, Lamar's. So we got sports going on up there this weekend. Ragbri, your in Ojava roofing uh, forecast for Sunday. The tire dipping ceremony happens at 4 a.m. in the morning. That's where we bottom out this time of year. 67 degrees and partly cloudy. It's going to be a mild and muggy start, but get ready for heat on Sunday afternoon. 94 or 92 degrees, and then we get to 94 to start next week with 100 Wednesday. And I'm not lying, folks, that heat index value Tuesday, Wednesday between 105 and 110. Well, I tell you what, they've had some hot rag rise in the past. I imagine hopefully they'll all survive. Bye. The Olympic Games are on, and Toyota has great deals on Camry, Highlander, Rav4, and more. Look, not a solid, but not a liquid. Yeah, if I was one of those riders, I'd get up at 4 a.m. and dip my tire and get on the road right away. Heck, I'd probably rather sleep during the day and then ride at night. <laughs> if that was an option. Storms are possible later on tonight across Siouxland, but as the heat dome continues to build in, we're going to see less rain in the forecast and more heat. It's coming up tonight at 10. Showers and thunderstorms are possible overnight tonight as they make their way into Siouxland. 
Now, right now, it doesn't look like a whole lot of rain. Your extended forecast, though, looking really dry and really hot. That's tonight at 9 on Fox 44. Do you know how Reg Rice started? I don't. You know what it stands for? No idea. The Register's Great Annual Bike Ride Across Iowa, the Des Moines Register. Oh, cool. Two columnists back in the early to mid 70s decided that. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm going to do one of these. <clears throat> Coming up tonight on Siouxland News at 10, organizers and vendors in Lamar's put the finishing touches on the preparations as thousands of bike riders heading into town for rag ride. Closer look at 10. They both kind of like to ride bikes and they decided, hey, they came up with this idea, why don't we just one summer spend a week riding across the state and we'll write some columns based on what we come across. And it was so popular that it continued to grow. People started riding along with them when they would do it. <clears throat> Coming up to 9 at 9 on Sioux Line's only primetime newscast after a year off because of the pandemic. Thousands of bikers are rolling into the bars this weekend for Sunday's start of Rag Ride. We'll show how organizers and vendors have been putting the finishing touches on their preparations. Hold on here, give me one second. Okay. <clears throat> Just out on Siouxland News at 9, participating in the Olympic Games is something athletes all over the world strive for. Most never get a chance, but that doesn't mean you can't feel like an Olympian every day. Especially when it comes to lifting weights, our Andrew Rogers shows you how tonight at night. <clears throat> I I would never go. Yeah, I have no desire. Unless it would be the Winter Games. Yeah. Coming up about a half hour on Siouxland News at 10, after deployment that lasted nearly a year, roughly 100 soldiers from Siouxland return home today, greeted to cheers, applause, and signs of happy tears. Up next on Siouxland News at 10, the body of a man who apparently jumped or fell into the Missouri River earlier this week is discovered. 